Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this video I'm going to show you how to fetch the user's current location. So means we can fetch the latitude and longitude based on his current location. So we'll see how we can do that. So to do that, first we need to go to that pub.dev and we need to import this package which is a geolocator. So go to this geolocator and go to this installations and copy this. Go to your pubspec.yaml. So under dependencies, just add this. So once you see, this is uh, importing all its packages, right? So once this is done, you can start. Uh, you can you can go to your main dot dot file. So now it is done, and you can close this. Go to your main dot dot file, and here you can import the geolocation package. So you can see geolocator. So you have imported the geolocator dot dot. So uh, right now I'll, I have connected my iPhone device over here. Mm, I have connected my iPhone device over here. So I'll show how, I'll show you how to do it for the iPhone. And uh, even even in the same way, if you want to do it for the uh, Android also, you can do it. Uh, if you go down and you can see uh, there's a steps mentioned over here for iPhone. Uh, you need to add this permissions and as well as for Android, you have to add these two lines in its manifest file. So we are doing it for the iPhone. So that's why I just cop I'm just copying these these lines. Uh, let me go to my iOS folder over here and inside runner. Uh, go to the info.p list. Okay, I'm done with this. So come back to my main files. For Android, what you need to do is for Android, you have to copy these two lines and in android you have a manifest file and it's just gradle in the manifest file you just need to add these two so we're not doing it for android i'm just showing this demo in an ios application that's you can see it on the ios so we are done with adding the permissions to the ios and next step we need to see how we can do that so next go to your main dot dot files we are in the main dot dot file the first step so i'm not doing any click actions versus so let me implement the ui first so what I'll do, I'll create a body over here. So in this, uh, I'll create a column. So inside column, uh, I'll create uh, three fields, which is a text field. Sorry. Children. So I'll create two fields. One is a uh, text, uh, which is a. Um, so for that, let me go here, and uh, let me go here and write. Uh, I just want to print it as a uh, string. So here, this is a latitude. And for latitude. I want to define two strings. One is one's for storing the latitude data, and the other one is for, for storing the longitude data. Yes, initially I'm not doing anything. I'm just creating an empty string over here. So go to your text. So in this text, you can directly write latitude data, and as well as longitude data so and before that let me create one uh, init state so inside this init state let me create a small function which is calling a uh, in this function we'll create a, the geolocation so let me create a small function which is called uh, I'll write it as a get current location so I have created one small uh, function uh, which is an asynchronous function I'll create it and I'll, and I'll call this function from this init state. Means we are not doing any on tap or anything. So directly when an application launches, it automatically fetches the data and it will display here. So here, the first thing is you have to call, you have to uh, call a geolocation. So, so I'm just writing as geo position is equals to geo await. 
so i'll write geolocator geolocator okay so and dot get current positions so in this we have to specify the desired accuracy so i want to specify the highest accuracy you can see uh, location accuracy so you can see the best best for navigation high low lowest medium like that you have different things so, so i am just choosing the highest accuracy which is i am just choosing the highest accuracy and next and once i have this what i'll do i will set the state so i'll create one set state in this set state i will so i have created these two language longitude data right to this data i will add the currently received geo positions so geo position dot latitude i will add here so it's a string right so let me write In the same way, I'll do it for longitude too. So in the space of latitude, I'll write longitude data. Okay, so I'm done. At the time of launching the application, the init state will call this get current location. So once the location is successfully received, so it will we am just we are setting a state and we are displaying the latitude and longitude data in our screen. In the over here we are displaying it so let's see how we can do this so let me run it okay uh, it has launched into my ios device but i don't know it is not showing the location permission or, or in the screen but uh, here it is showing so i have selected this allow while using permissions once i select the permissions so it will take some time to get the to fetch the location once it fetches the location successfully it will display here so you can see see once it fetched the data it has showed the latitude and longitude data on the screen so this is the current location of my device where currently i am uh, residing this is the what how, how we can this is how we can fetch the latitude and longitude data using a geolocator